Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about continuous time and discrete time systems or signals. So, what is continuous time system? A continuous time system is one which continuous time input signals are transferred into a continuous time output signal. So, we'll be giving a continuous signal. Let us assume a sinusoidal graph. Okay, how does the sinusoidal graph represent guys? Like this, right? When it's in negative axis also up to infinity. So, if we pass it to a CTS, that is nothing but continuous time system, we're gonna get one another continuous time system. It may be starting like this also. There may be a situation even that like that, that guys. So, that is what we called as the continuous time system. Similarly, discrete time system. A discrete time system is one system that discrete time input signal are transferred into discrete time output signal. Are transferred into discrete time system to get the discrete time output signal. So, I, I should write here. CTS to get here CTS to get continuous time signal. Okay, guys. So now the sentences are really clear. So whenever we pass a discrete time signal, so when I pass this through the DTS, I'll be getting a signal like this. It may be in the exact opposite direction, like that. So we'll be getting only in terms of itself. So if we pass discrete, we gonna get. We should get discrete. If we pass continuous, we will be getting continuous. So that's what is clearly explained in this tutorial, guys. So, in the next video, we will be going through the major differences of uh, major classifications of systems. In the next video, we will be going through linear, non-linear system, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.